Are you considering augmented or virtual reality for your corporate training program? If so, it can be a bit daunting to decide which is best for your organization. In this video, we'll talk about the differences between augmented and virtual reality technologies, then show you how each can be integrated into your training program. Hi, my name is Bill Kneen. And I'm Jeff Suchin, here with Roundtable Learning. If you're watching this video, you already know that augmented and virtual reality can take your training to the next level through engaging in interactive activities. But while both technologies are used for corporate training, they serve very different purposes. Today, we're here to help you decide which is the right fit for your organization. Let's dive in. Augmented reality, or AR for short, allows you to superimpose photos, text, video, or 3D models right in front of you. Learners can use headsets, or more commonly, a tablet or a smartphone, to augment the world in front of them. Think of how Snapchat filters work, or the mobile game Pokemon Go. These are two ways that AR is used in our everyday lives. There are three types of AR technology you should know. Image target, object recognition, and plane detection. Image target takes video, text, or other assets and uses a real-world 2D image, like a poster or a sign on a wall, to trigger and overlay them on your screen. Object recognition lets you take a digital 3D model and fix it to a real-world 3D object that can then be moved around and respond in real time. And finally, plane detection, which lets you fix a digital 3D asset onto a flat surface in the real world and then lets you move around the space and interact with the fixed object. Now that we know about the three AR technologies, let's dive into what training topics AR is best used for. <music> Augmented reality is a great tool when you are training on products or equipment Examples of this include technicians studying a new engine or cashiers learning a new point of sale system. We recommend augmented reality to our clients that are looking for on-the-job performance support tools for their employees. Since an augmented reality program can be used on location through a mobile device, your employees can have access to videos, instructions, and other learning materials while they are working from any location. We call this just-in-time learning, and it's a great way to reinforce your training content for long-term knowledge retention. Thanks, Bill. Now that we know about augmented reality, let's check out the two types of virtual reality technology. Virtual reality, also known as VR, simulates any world you can imagine, enabling your learners to encounter true-to-life scenarios without facing real-world risk. By putting on a headset, learners are fully immersed in a new simulated environment where they can look around, walk up to computer-generated objects, and interact with items and people. While there are three types of AR technologies, with VR, we have two types, 360 VR and full VR. 360 VR uses an environment made of a recorded video shot with an omnidirectional camera, providing a continuous 360-degree view. 360 VR offers three degrees of freedom, which allows the learners to look left, right, up, and down. Learners can interact with the environment via gaze control or a controller. 360 VR is typically used when you want to practice human interaction or recreate the sights and sounds of an actual environment like an office. Full VR is what most people picture when you say virtual reality because full VR uses a fully simulated 3D environment. Full VR uses six degrees of freedom to give the user the ability to move and interact with elements within the virtual world. Full VR is typically used when you want to practice physical tasks such as pallet stacking or managing line equipment. Compared to other learning technologies, VR offers the closest thing to a wholly immersive experience. This simulated experience sets the scene for meaningful learning milestones for all kinds of training topics such as soft skills, technical skills, or process training. With VR, your learners can practice their social skills by navigating difficult conversations, 
build muscle memory by practicing physical motions, and work through a simulated safety hazard, all while in a safe environment. We've covered a lot. Hopefully you have a better understanding of augmented reality and virtual reality training technologies. For more information and examples, read our AR versus VR training article. That link is in the description below. If you have any questions, reach out to us at any time and make sure to like this video and subscribe for all things training and development.